Yo, what's up everybody? It is supposed to be super warm out today, like 50 some degrees. Um, I'm out on a local lake. I'm just going to go out. I'm going to try to catch some panfish, crappies, bluegills. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And do a little catch and cook. It's March, mid-March, somewhere on there right now. I don't know exactly what day. But the fish are starting to uh, get in their pre-spawn pre patterns. A lot of them are right up in the weeds now. Some of them are on the edge of the weeds, transitioning up. It's a time of year where these fish are like, okay, spawn is coming, time to move shallow. Anyway, I'm going to go out here, try and catch some fish, do a little catch and cook. Real quick for y'all. Let's do it. Right here. Here's a new one I've been I've been messing around with a little bit. Guy sent me some, working really good for these finicky fish. Spider monkey, I think they're made by made in Illinois or Missouri, Missouri, I believe. I'll have to double check if I can find his link. I'll put it down in the description. But it's just a nice little soft plastic. It's not really hard, the plastic, but it's not too soft, so it ain't gonna fall apart on you. Let's see what happens with that. I don't know, these look like perch too. Possibly, we're gonna find out here in a minute. Oh. Maybe they aren't. are not perch. That's crappie. That's a crappie, boys. That's a crappie. There we go. This could be something we're going to eat. Oh yeah, there's a there's an eater right there. Nice little probably ten and a half incher. Perfect for the frying pan, boys. Now they're now they're here. Now they're here. Coming in hot. This is not, <laughs> not a crappie. <laughs> Look at that thing, you guys. Thing's just ripping. Got to be a base. Big old largey, I'll bet. It's gonna scare my fish away though. Large Marge, boys. Large Marge coming at you. There he is, too. Little largemouth bass. Ain't she a beaut? Get out of here, Large Marge. Did you scare away all the feather fish now, I'm sure? Nope, they're still there. We're looking for the crappy, though, guys. Feels bigger. That feels like a bigger bluegill. Mm. There's a nice one. I need this guy we could eat. And we will. Nice little probably eight and a half incher. There's a crappie. Nice one too. close to that. We're gonna keep him. There's one. There's another one right there. Boom. 
should say. Got three crappies and a bluegill over here. Oh, there's a nice bluegill. And be a great eater there. He's probably eight and three quarter. There you go, buddy. Gone. Back down the hole. Alright, you guys. I kept three crappies and a bluegill. The biggest crappies, I don't know, it's too big for bigger crappies are probably 11 and three quarter inches. Got a cutting board here, knife, frying pan, just got a mm, little propane cooker here, some oil. I'm just going to fillet one of these fish for you guys, and then I'm going to wash them up, toss them in the pan, and do a little cooking action. I forgot my uh, force, or I forgot my scooper for taking the fish out of the frying pan. So I got two, I got my, these regular forceps, and then I got these ones. That's going to be my, my scooper for getting the fish out of the hot oil. Wish me luck, hopefully I don't die. Okay. Got one crappie here. Okay. Go right down there. Right along the back. Yes, I love using a traditional knife. The guy's kind of small for a perch, but it'll work. I've actually already bled these fish. Cut the gills on them probably, I don't know, an hour ago. That fillet there. For you guys that want to know, no, I don't like electric knives unless I'm doing tulabies. Um, I just enjoy cleaning fish. You know, I know I can get a bubba or something else, but it's just not for me. cage. There we go. Let's see, put this over here. Longer blade would be nice. Like I said, I have a lot. I have a leech, a leech lake knife at home that's ideal for this. So now I'm just going to have to do swipes. See that? So you can get it done with a shorter knife. It's just not ideal. Here we go. There's one. So we're not quite done yet, you guys. There's two flays right here. Really nice flays. I like that rib meat. I know it's got tons of chemicals in it, but you only live once. But I take this little strip of pin bones out too. That way kids and whoever else doesn't get one in the gum. People say they fry right up. Also, that is not true. They fry up until they get stuck in your gums, and then it's a really bad problem. So anyway, you guys, there we go. Just flayed that one crappie. I'm going to wash these guys off and get some oil in the pan, okay? Alright you guys, got my grease going here, got, got some of these fillets in this bag here, which this teed up, be careful, you know, you guys, I don't have a stand underneath this, I also don't have a fish hose around here to, to run around and get caught up on, so this is pretty open, I'll be fine working with this right here, got this nice and balanced, just be careful when you're cooking with oil out on the ice, especially if it's open like this. Got some oil, I got some, this is mm, frying magic. One of my favorite things to use here on fish. These are those two bigger crappies that I filleted there. And once this oil heats up, we're gonna uh, put them in the pan. You guys have noticed I didn't like how my propane bottle was on the ice. It just wasn't very sturdy, so I put my cutting board down with some paper towels on it. I'll take these fish out 
after they're done cooking lay them on the towel <clears throat> probably have too many fish in there for it to get up to perfect temperature so i'm gonna leave them in there for a long time until they get crispy and brown probably three to four hours just kidding why i don't know probably like eight to ten minutes maybe i don't know this is about the point we're at they've probably been in there about six or seven minutes now i just flipped them they're nice and crispy and golden brown on this side you guys this isn't ideal but it's working i haven't really worried about burning myself or nothing either so i'll leave them in here for probably another four minutes and then we'll put them out of the thing here all right and these guys are done show you my magical way of taking these out get the forceps under there there's probably some crappie slime on these so i'll add extra flavor there we go and drip a little bit put that guy on the board here probably be maybe easier there we go look at that that guy on the board little magic trying to get some of there we go there we go down the board I'm gonna flip them over actually so this one here is split in the middle which is fine because I figure I feel that I did quite good for having to use a couple of forceps to get my fish out there we go there we go boom boom I'm going to set this oil off to the side here on something so it can cool down. I'll probably actually set the pan, maybe I can set the pan on the snow. There we go. It's an old pan, I don't care. Pans on the snow, it'll cool that stuff down fast. Set this off to the side too, like that. There's our fish right there, you guys. We're going to let them cool down and we're going to give them a shot. Alrighty here, you guys. There is my crappie. Fried nice and golden brown, just like I like it. Here we go. Mm. Oh, hot. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I probably waited two or three minutes to eat this, but this is fantastic. Just oil frying magic. I don't dust it in anything. Cook it right in the lake right here. I mean, this was pretty simple. I got a tiny sled here full of crap, and you can do this on the lake. If I would have brought a chair, it would have been even better, you guys. I'm going to eat all this here before I take off to the landing. But this is honestly fantastic. Oh, you know, this video is, I don't know. I don't know that came, man. There we go. Well, you guys, fishing late ice here, you guys. We I think we got a couple weeks left yet, at least walkable ice. There's people driving out still yesterday. I wouldn't, access to their bad. Um, the main sheet is fantastic. Just be careful where you're going because I've seen people go in. They're going in in these shallow points where there's weeds at, and the sun is warming those weeds and those rushes up and is eating the ice away around that area. So guys, be smart, stay away from those areas. I see people going in, and thankfully they're getting out safe. But the fact is we still have a lot of good ice around here right now that you could walk on or use a wheeler on. Just use your head um, when you get on the ice and check conditions. Stay away from road beds anything like that shallow but shallow bays even i would you know walk out on that's kind of where the fish are starting to get up into but mm. see that that's what's left in my my milwaukee drill you guys i uh was drilling a hole out here to keep doing some video when she died she broke on me i'm not sure i think acme might have a, a replacement policy on that i'm going to double check but that was my milwaukee on my six inch strike master light flight um, tuned up custom rods, precision noodle, like five pound 
frost line on a, I just got a little tiny jig here with a split shot. <clears throat> I was using a couple different things. I was using um, a spider monkey plastic. I was using uh, plastic from Alex over at Panfish Pirates. I was also using a wax worm and a spike. All those were catching fish. Got my Markham LX7 here. Fantastic unit. It's always been so good to me, you guys. I could not ice fish without it. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little catch and cook. There's going to be some fishing videos coming out. I'm going back to Devil's Lake. You're going to be seeing those, hopefully. Um, I'm going to ring the long rod in case we might have to fish offshore. But beaver trapping, lots of beaver trapping videos coming. That's my plan anyway. So anyway, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.